People may have called you all sorts of names and mocked you, but people will always talk. People always have something to say, so do not get discouraged because the same people will come back and celebrate you. God will change your story for good. The challenge that had made people insult and mock you will soon come to an end, and all those that laugh at you will be disgraced. All you need to do is come close to God. Do not allow what people say make you give up on God. Do you know that a lot of people have made the wrong decisions in life because people are laughing at them? But they fail to understand that people will always talk. And if you allow what they say to get to you, you will never go far in life. God is not asleep. He sees all that is happening to you. And at his own appointed time, he will shut the mouth of all that mocked you. But if you want these to happen, there are certain things you have to do and one of them is for you to make your ways right before God. You will never be free from disgrace and embarrassment if you are living in sin. God will be unable to change your situation if you have not yet surrendered your life to Him. Our God is too holy to behold evil, therefore, Flee from every form of darkness and you will see how God is going to fight your battles. Another thing you need to do is build a personal relationship with Jesus. Look at the story of Moses. Because he had a close relationship with God, the Lord fought his battles even when he was not aware. When Aaron and Miriam were gossiping about Moses, he did not know, but the Lord called them and punished them. That is what happens when you have a close relationship with Jesus. You do not need to explain yourself because God is the one that will stand for you. Now, how can you build this relationship? First, you need to learn to spend time with Him in prayer. Also, have time to study His Word so that you will get to know Him more and do not neglect the gathering of the brethren because you will be encouraged. The Bible says if a man's way is right before the Lord, he will cause his enemies to be at peace with him. God will make those that mock you fall at your feet. They will honor you and the Lord will disgrace them because you are the apple of his eyes. I don't know what exactly you are going through that has made people mock you. It could be you are not financially stable and you are seen as a liability. Do not let your heart be troubled. God is going to change that situation. He is going to elevate you beyond your wildest imagination, and He will disgrace all that thought nothing good will ever come out of you. God will cause men to work in your favor. Men will go out of their way to favor you. He will no longer struggle in life because God will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. From this day, He will stand before kings, not mere men. You will never beg. You and your household will never go hungry again. Those that thought you are useless will run to you for help, and they will be covered in shame in the name of Jesus. It could be that you do not have anyone to stand on your behalf. God will stand on your behalf from this day onwards. Where your status and qualifications cannot take you, the favor of the Lord will take you there. The Lord, the blessed King Solomon, will bless you and He will announce you to your generation. It does not matter the condition of your country. From today, when men say there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. You will lend to nations. You will not borrow. It could be that people are mocking you because you are yet to be married. Some may say it is because you have bad luck. That is why nobody wants to marry you. But God will disgrace everyone that has insulted you. You will not only get married, but you will find the right partner in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will be different from other marriages. The terrible experiences people face in marriage will not be your portion. Do not cry, because God is sending the right person. I declare that everything that is causing delay in your life is broken this day in the name of Jesus. People will come and celebrate you, and those that have mocked you will be put to shame. The Lord will prepare a table before you, right in the presence of your enemies, in the name of Jesus. You may be coming from a terrible background, and because of that, people insult you. Do not forget that Nazareth was seen as a place where nothing good will ever come out from. But the Savior of the world came from Nazareth, 
and to date, people all over the world respect that place. You will be the star that God will raise in your family to shut the mouth of all those that have mocked your family. God will do something great in your family that will earn the respect of everyone that has said something bad about your family. God will turn every story that has caused you and your family pain, shame, and disgrace. Do you remember the woman with the issue of blood? She carried that sickness for 12 years. People did not want to come close to her, but as God would have it, her healing came. Your healing will be permanent in the name of Jesus. If your past life has been so wasted that it's still having effect on you today, the Lord will change that. It does not matter what the doctors have said. The Lord is going to break protocol for your behalf and all those that are happy that things are not going well for you, the Lord will put them to shame. Daniel in the Bible was accused by people that wanted him out of the way. They plotted evil against him, and this made the king order that Daniel be thrown into the lion's den. But because Daniel was a child of God, the Lord did not allow his enemies rejoice over him. The Lord shut the mouth of the lions and saved Daniel, but God did not stop there. He made sure all those that wanted him dead were thrown into the lion's den along with their families. God will not only put your enemies to shame, he will destroy them. The Lord will bless you. Everything that caused you pain is over. You will be respected, and people will look at your life and give glory to God. Your latter shall be greater than your former. You will not die small. People will look up to you, and they will respect you. You will stand before kings and not mere men, and people will not have the courage to laugh or mock you. Your night of weeping is over, because your morning has come. Whatever your heart desires, the Lord will grant it to you. Hannah in the Bible was mocked by Penina because she was unable to conceive. But when she turned to the Lord, he heard her cry. He blessed her with children and shut the mouth of Penina. Therefore, I declare over your life this day that the Lord will hear your cry and put to shame all those that have mocked you. The Lord will bless you and make his face shine upon you. You will never be in want and you will never struggle. The Lord will provide all your needs according to His riches and glory. People will respect you because of what the Lord is about to do in your life. All those that mocked you in one way or the other will fall at your feet. They will be put to shame in the name of Jesus.